everyone. Internal Server Error 500 or HTTP Error 500 is a common issue that occurs when the server encounters an unexpected condition that prevents it from fulfilling the client's request. But it's often quite confusing to find out what is the reason behind the error and how to fix it. Thus, in today's video, let's take a look at the top reasons for internal server error 500 and how to fix it. I'm Aparna Singh from LearnVu and let's get started. The first reason might be the plugin or the theme conflict. Now, incompatibility issues between the plugins or the themes can cause internal server error 500. To resolve it, deactivate all plugins and switch to a default WordPress theme. Refresh your website to see if the error is resolved. If the error is resolved, activate plugins one by one until you identify the conflicting plugin. If the error persists, try switching to a different default WordPress theme to identify the issue. Next reason might be the corrupt.ht access file. A corrupt.ht access file can cause internal server error 500. To resolve that, go to WordPress dashboard, settings, and permalinks. Without making any changes, click on save changes button. WordPress will generate a new .ht access file with the correct permissions and settings. If the error is resolved, the .ht access file was corrupt. The next reason might be the PHP memory limit. A low PHP memory limit can cause internal server error 500. Increase the PHP memory limit by adding a code to your wp-configure.php file. Open the wp-configure.php file in a text editor. Now add the following code to the file that you can see here I'm adding. This code is mentioned in the description. Save the file and upload it back to the server. Next reason might be the server configuration issues. Now the server configuration issues such as incorrect file permissions or misconfigured server settings can cause the internal server error 500 for which you simply need to contact your hosting provider for assistance in identifying and resolving server configuration issues. Another reason for internal server error 500 can also be the database connection issues. Verify your database credentials in the wp-configure.php file. Ensure that your database server is running. Contact your hosting provider for assistance in resolving database connection issues. If your hosting provider is unable to resolve the issue, you may need to consider switching to a different hosting provider. Next reason might be the corrupt core files. Now the corrupt core files can also cause internal server error 500. To resolve that, simply reinstall WordPress by deleting all WordPress files and uploading a fresh copy of WordPress. For that, go to wordpress.org and click on the download button to download the latest version of WordPress. Select all files and folders in the root directory except for the WP content folder and delete them. Be careful not to delete the WP content folder as this folder contains important files like themes, plugins and media files. Upload the fresh copy of WordPress to your server. Now refresh your website to see if the error is resolved. The last reason might be the server overload. Well, if there is a high server traffic or server overload, then that can also cause internal server error 500. To resolve it, contact your hosting provider to check the server status and ensure that the server can handle the traffic. Consider upgrading to a higher hosting plan or using a content delivery network that is CDN to distribute the server load. And that was all. With this video, you can see that fixing an HTTP 500 error isn't that difficult if you know its reasons and ways to fix it. Do let us know in the comment section if you found this video useful. If you like this video, give a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to keep getting updates on more such videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be signing off and we'll see you in the next video.